Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to take a look at the topic Who do you need to be for the next chapter? I might even write that as Who do you need to be for the next chapter to open? Something like that. I think that could be good because we've been through the eclipses now, we've cleared a lot of stuff. We're ready to go, right? So let's see what we've got. So group number one, group number one, you have this beautiful flower. I really love it. So that's group number one. Wow, it shines. That's cool. All right, group one. Group two is this starfish. Let's see if I can focus that. There we go. That's really nice. Okay. It's very shiny as well. They're all very shiny this time. It's very pretty. And group number three, you have this bling, blinging kind of key. <laughs> bling. Hang on. Come on. Oh, so, okay, it doesn't want to be seen. Oh, interesting. A little bit of, we've started the reading for group three already. You don't want to be seen. All right, what's going on group three? Look at that. Come on, focus over here. There we go. No, it really has having trouble focusing. There we go. All right, that's group three. So feel free to choose your group and I will see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this very beautiful flower, who do you need to be for the next chapter? All right, who do you need to be? Well, it's quite interesting. We've got this flower here. So straight away, we can say a couple of things. When I think of a flower, I think of feminine energy. So maybe you need to be more in your feminine energy. Isn't that interesting? Uh, that could be a message for women. And what I'd say for men is interesting that I would say the reverse. I would say for men, you shouldn't be in your feminine energy. You should be in your masculine energy is the message that I'm getting that that would be better for you. Let's shuffle and see what comes via the cards. So I've got Caroline Mace Archetypes deck. We'll take one of these. Oh, I am shuffling, by the way. <laughs> Do it on camera. There we go. All right, so one of those. And then we're going to take, let's pin that out of the way. Um, one of these, which is, gosh, I've forgotten what this is called. Tarot of Mystical Moments. Oh dear, I'm making a mess already. By the way, I got these brass. This one I had for ages already anyway. I got that from Kiki K in Sydney. But this one I ordered. And I'm going to order a couple more of those, I think. But yeah, they take ages to arrive. So otherwise I'd be putting the cards in that. Because that's actually the right, it's got the right slant in it. All right, now let's take a look. We'll have one of these and one of these, right. I've also got a tarot deck behind these cards. So if we need more tarot, I can pull them out. All right, let's take a look. So who do you need to be for the next chapter? Let's see. All right, you need to be a storyteller. Light attribute, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. Okay, shadow attribute, making up tales that harm others. Yeah, I, yep, that is not a good thing. You don't want to be doing that. Group number one. So that's really interesting. We've got a thing of honesty coming up here. So I think who you need to be for the next chapter, I think you need to be really honest 
Uh, but we'll take a look at the rest of the cards. Page of Cups, nice. It's a very sweet card that. All right. New beginning, new beginning in love. You're a beginner in love, even. Expansion, nice. We've also got the dark blue here. Again, we've got the dark blue, we've got the green, we've got, it's about expression. This color here, this blue color here is fifth chakra. This is green, green blue. This is a greeny kind of a blue. So green is heart. Expression is coming through. Page of Cups. Very sweet card that. Okay. Oh wow, elephant. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, something about being strong. You need to be strong. Strong, courageous, these are words that are coming up. Expressive, something about you expressing yourself. Page of Cups is pretty interesting. And what I'm getting from here when I look at how she's looking at this tiny little fish here is that Let's have a look at that. Like I don't get a sense that she knows what she wants. So I feel like part of this next chapter, whatever it is for you, I think you've got to get clear about what it is that you do want. And that's going to be important. Because it's like you're writing the story, you hold the pen you know, I'll try and get that to focus there. There we go. You hold the pen in your hand. You are telling the story. But yet, yes, yeah, it's, it's when I look at her face and when I look at this picture. That's kind of why I've chosen the cards that I've chosen. Because, like, I, I chose this deck because I want to see what people would come through. And it's like she's contemplating this little fish thing, but I, I don't think she's sure if she wants exactly this. Let's have a look at the people in here. That's a beautiful, happy person there. There's music, there's a book, there's good times. It's very sort of Gemini actually feel that one, which is lovely. What kind of people do we have here? Yeah, I'm also getting a sense that it's like, who do you need to be for the next chapter? I also think you need to be better at listening to your guidance. You're being shown what to do. And I'm also getting the phrase, so there's no excuses now. So I think it is about listening really well and listening very deeply and about expressing yourself honestly. Honestly, stylishly, with fun, you know. Elephant. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's an elephant in the room. <laughs> they always say that, don't they? They say that there's an elephant in the room when there's something that nobody's talking about it, but it's there. It's like maybe it's for you to talk about it. Maybe you have to make things clear or you know, maybe it's a case of no more elephant in the room. Very interesting group number one. The elephant in the room. But it's like it's falling to you and, and this could be that it's up to you to create a new beginning in love as well or a new beginning in your heart, or this could also be you learning how to love as well. This could also be you being honest um, about love, honest about your heart, honest about 
And because this doesn't matter how old you are, but it's like something about being a beginner in love or that, wow, this is all new to me or the world has changed or I've changed or I don't know. There's a touch of I don't know who I am and I don't know what I want with this page of cups. I am getting that there. But expansion is here for you. And there's good energy here, group number one. Let's see what quotes we get. All right, let's see what comes through. I always love looking at the quotes. It's like a little fortune cookie moment. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. Everything has its beauty, but not everyone sees it. Confucius. Yeah, funny I mentioned the fortune cookie just now. Um, everything has its beauty, but not everyone sees it. That's true. Yeah. Yes, I like that quite a lot. And maybe this is a message for you to see the beauty where no one else thinks it, that it is. I do that. <laughs> I always see the beauty where not many people are looking or that kind of thing. I like to do that. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a great quote. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. Scott Hamilton. Yes, I completely agree with that. Yep, that is so true. I know someone who's technically, he is like, yeah, he's got quite a severe disability. Um, and uh, wow, he is not like that inside. Tell you what, he's, he, there's no hint of a bad attitude in him. He's one of the happiest people I know. It's incredible. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. Yes, and I think there's some, there's some renewal in your love life. There's a new beginning or a renewal in your love life, definitely. And so in terms of who do you need to be for the next chapter, what I'm going to say here is go, go easy with it, go slowly and be true to what you are. So if you're a lady watching this, be in your feminine energy. And if you are a man watching this, be in your masculine energy. Okay, so for a female, if it's love life, be in your feminine energy, be patient, wait. You know, if somebody's not good quality, say no to them, all that kind of thing. If you're a man, well, be true to your masculine energy, so try, right? to people, send them a text or you, whatever, you know, thing that people do. Express, try, you know, and be honest. Making up tales that harm others, that's not okay. So no fake accounts, no fake emails, no fake websites, none of that fake stuff, yeah? Don't be doing that. All right, group number one, well, that was your reading. We are now going to welcome Group number two. Okay, I'm going to clear these away. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. How exciting. We've got a new format here. All right, I'll pop those quotes on the floor. We don't need those. I'm going to put these back. Oh, that goes there. That goes there. How are you doing, group number? What are we? Group number two. Group number two. Welcome, group number two. If you chose this starfish, then you are in the right place. So who do you need to be for the next chapter? Maybe you need to be a star. Maybe you need to be seen. <laughs> I like that. Starfish, you need to be seen. You need to be the star of the show now. Something like that, yeah? You need to be seen, group number two two. All right, let's shuffle these and see. 
Here it comes. These sit there. There we go. One of these. I hope you're well, wherever you are. Group number two. <laughs> the starfish. <laughs> uh, take one of these. Oh, all right, let's something from there. Let's take that popped out. I, I can't see it, so it's all right. Oh, and we'll take that as well. I didn't see it, but we'll take it. Again, we can we can keep that uh, little secret. You get a bonus. Yeah, all right, we'll take one of those. OK, what who do you need to be? Who do you need to be for the next? chapter oh fantastic i love it you need to be the hero or oh, heroine this is great light attribute passion for a journey of personal empowerment yes shadow attribute escapism and a false sense of heroism okay but look at that i mean the new chapter is on and it's a bit of a mountain to climb we've cleared the eclipses now i know this is a timeless reading but if you're watching this for now, which most of my people do. Oh wow, Nine of Wands. Yeah. But you know what's interesting here? She looks fine. Even though this is like a tough card, visually. And I mean, in the traditional tarot, Nine of Wands, it is, you're, you're, yeah, you are in a little bit of a tough spot here, but we'll have a look. But she's okay. All right. It, yeah, things are quite demanding, possibly. You're in a spot right now where things are quite demanding. Two of these are the same. Wow, okay, miracle and guilt. Yeah, these were the ones that dropped out. Okay. Maybe you need a miracle at this time. This can be quite a burdensome card, this um, Nine of Wands here. And you're in a tough spot, which is requiring you to be some kind of hero at this time. Sea Serpent. Wow. All right, visually this is really interesting to me. Something coming full circle. This creature eating its own tail. You see, because at the end of the day, whatever the situation is that you're in, let's see. At the end of the day, it's all you you're working with you guilt it's like this guilt is keeping you stuck trapped and i'm getting the word Getting the words, something about accepting the situation. It's kind of like you need to accept the situation exactly as it is. And I'm also getting that the, the guilt could be coming from self-blame. It could be coming from your own high standards that you put onto yourself. And maybe the miracle is recognizing that you are this hero or heroine. You are this already. For you, group two, I don't feel like if we've got the question here, who do you need to be for the next chapter? I think you are it. I think you've always been it. I think you've always been this hero, heroine. And that's probably why people people probably perceive that 
and I think they probably drain on you. They probably perceive that you are very, 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 very strong. And for that reason, they, they drain on you. And it's really interesting, the two colors we've got here are bright orange, but we've got yellow come in with the miracle. And yellow is third chakra. That is self-empowerment. So I feel like at this time, whatever it is that you're going through, you just have to realize, and I'm kind of getting as well, yeah, that you are like that you are all the characters. But it's like, but so if you are, if you acknowledge that, well, yeah, I am all the characters. Well, then why don't you choose to be more the hero, kind of thing? You know. Um, just keep choosing that this comes out more and more and more. And this is a thing of like um, you putting yourself first at times a bit like so and you having time just for yourself. I feel like you need to have time just for yourself. Yeah, you're possibly overworking. So you need to carve out time just for yourself carve out time just for yourself sea serpent is there anything more coming from this yeah i don't know from this i keep getting um this is gonna sound weird i keep i kind of getting burnout i don't know like But the miracle will be you putting yourself forward, carving out time for yourself. And be aware of um, guilt trips. Be aware of anyone who is guilt tripping you, no matter who they are, and no matter how close they are, and no matter who they are. It could be, um, that could be manipulative of them, if you know what I mean. So just beware of that. And the miracle is it, it is just you shifting your focus, shifting your perspective, recognizing that you're, you are the hero, you are the heroine. It's, for you, group two, I'm getting a strong feeling that there isn't anyone you need to be because you're great now okay so this is not a thing of becoming or oh, you need to improve this or you need to improve no you don't need to improve anything i think you just need to you've got too much draining on you at the moment and it's for you to um it's for you to put the boundaries in place and remember that boundaries putting up a boundary is not the outside world will say that, oh, you're pushing me out or something like that. No, a boundary is a way of saving a relationship. It's not a way of shutting someone out. It's a way of saving a relationship, actually. So let's have a look at this. It says here, no man is a failure who is enjoying life. William Feather. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. You can do that on your own today. Or tomorrow you know why wait enjoy life now don't be putting that off you're it that's the other thing there's a strong there's a, yes so there's something about you needing to be in the now something about you being in being in the now is important all right let's take a look at the next one Oh, I like this. Yeah, life is simple, but we insist on making it complicated, Confucius. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so there's something about simplifying life, simplifying your schedule, saying no, saying no more. Okay, that's really, 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 really important. No is going to be your superpower. No is your superhero superpower at the moment. That'll also up your self-worth. You see, because we've got two females here. I was watching this really great thing i can't remember it was by um 
I know some people don't, they're not a big fan of Jordan Peterson, but I was watching, he was talking about um, the power of no, and he was saying that women have to say no, and I'm, I'm watching it, I'm going, yeah, that's so true. And um, it was good, and he knows, uh, you know, his psychological stuff is good. I mean, maybe his, some of his political stuff is not very good, but when he does the psychology stuff, especially between men and women, there, there's a lot of great stuff there. And he was saying anyway that women, especially he said they need to say no oh i so agree with that gabor mate is a classic guy for teaching women how to say no and that if we don't that's when we develop chronic illnesses and all that kind of thing it's so true so there's something like that here group number two whether you're a man or a woman watching this it doesn't matter but there's something about being overworked you're not saying no uh, and there's a lot of people draining on you at the moment. But don't you worry. You are the starfish. You are the hero, heroine. You are the star of the show. You're going to, it's going to be your energy that's going to transform this situation. So I am wishing you well. Group number two, take care. Let me know how you got on it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And we are now going to welcome... Group number, hang on. group number three. All right. I might even take a quick sip of my, I've got a hot chocolate today, guys. Just like last week, I had, I enjoyed it so much. I thought that's it. I'm getting another one. Right. Okay. So what did you have, group three? You had the key that wasn't focusing, that wasn't wanting to be seen. That was kind of interesting. Maybe you are protecting something at this time. Maybe you are protecting yourself. Maybe you're keeping something under lock and key. We're gonna find out. Let's take a look. So, group number three. Who do you need to be for the next chapter? Okay, we've got new energy, new, you know, six months ahead of us, let's just say. It doesn't matter when you're watching this. It's Whatever you watch it, it's relevant for you. Okay, so let's take a look at group number three. It is cold and rainy, guys, outside. I don't know if you can hear, there's like a bit of a pitter patter of rain on my, on my window quite nice it's very cozy in here I might even move this back give us a little bit more space yeah that's a bit better I should have done the other ones with a bit more space as well doesn't matter <laughs> it's a work in progress <laughs> every time the camera setup is slightly different uh, okay and one of these who do you need to be for the next chapter Group number three, you need to be, oh my goodness, you need to be the fool. All right. Light attributes, fearlessly revealing emotion, helping people laugh. At, yes, <laughs> this is good. Uh, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. You bet. I agree with that. Got to laugh. You're either crying or you're laughing. Look at that. I mean, we've got that here. So what are you going to pick? I'd, I'd pick laughter. Shadow attributes, using humor, oh, to wound, yeah, rather than liberate. Okay, good. Thank you, angels. <laughs> Needed that. <laughs> Denial of your emotional truth. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, it's funny that that line comes in uh, for me today, using humor to wound rather than liberate. I don't, I don't want to do that, and I won't be doing that. That's not right. All right, so the fool. The fool is also new newness it's a new journey it's a new beginning something about you needs to be brand new so it, or not something about you needs to be renewed so the question is who do you need to be for the next chapter okay so something about you needs to be brand new it's funny with the comedy thing though because there have been a couple of new comedians that have come into my like that I found through YouTube and I've been watching and really enjoying lately. So that's kind of funny. Anyway. Um, oh, wow. Seven of Swords. Yeah. All right. 
interesting. Let's keep going here. Oh, expansion. All right. Yep. Okay. And sea serpent. Do you know, I did shuffle. I really did. Hmm. I really did shuffle. All right, well, let's sit with this energy. Let's sit with what we have. Seven of Swords is interesting. Do you know what? Do you know what this is? This is really interesting. It's like you need to be a mirror. It's like at this time, you need to be a mirror. And if, it's kind of like if someone is taking the mick out of you or if someone's, and, the, and that, I get it, that, that can be insulting. Like, some, it's like someone's coming in to insult your intelligence or something like that. It's like, what do you do? Do you just take it? Do you just, you know, I mean, And you see, because we've got this key here and we've got all this protection. I talked about protection and it's really interesting the way that this Seven of Swords is depicted. Because she's protecting these eggs, isn't she? Hmm. We've got the full here. There is something about um, like is tr someone trying to just take the Mickey out of you, or we've got this key here, expansion. But these are repeats. These are cards from the last two groups. So, who do you need to be for the next chapter? It's so interesting. I'm kind of getting, I'm getting a thing of not, like it would be good for you to not be seen uh, and for you to not reveal too much of yourself and to actually just, for, for, so for the next chapter, just mirror back what um, the people around you are showing to you just mirror that back uh, and and that's enough it's kind of like because you're mirroring back like so with the people around you we've just had group one and group two and we've had a card from each of those it's like in this reading we're not getting anything about you we're not getting anything about you we're not getting anything about your heart we're not getting we're not getting close to you there's a key here <laughs> Right, there's a key. Oh my God, and the battery, the camera battery is flashing red as well. It's like this thing, this whole thing is about to run out of energy. It's like you're not, you're not meant to be seen at this time or you're not meant to be known or people aren't meant to get close to you as well at this time. Yeah, and just look, if people are coming in, um, well, mirror them back to them to see that. I, I think that's probably going to be the best that you're going to be able to do. And I think that could quite possibly be it. The camera is honestly, it's just about to pass out here. This is fascinating. I mean, it's tempting to draw more cards, but I feel like that's just going to give us more. I don't, I'm going to say it. I'm going to have to say it it's just going to give us more useless information <laughs> it's extraordinary it's like we're not it's like you're not meant to be seen for a time group number three not forever you know um yeah so something about you got to hide out or not be seen or <gasps> get out it says life is a mirror no this is mental sorry i'm just so excited <laughs> this is true you're meant to be a mirror. Oh, life is a mirror and will reflect back 
to the thinker what he thinks into it. Oh, so good. So good. And if someone wants to just keep self-sabotaging themselves in your space, well, you just got to let them keep doing it. That's how that is. All right, good. Yes, we're on track. Good. What's next here? Before, the, before this whole thing passes out. See, that's, that's what I was saying about this person who might be taking the mick out of you or has come into your space insulting you or whatever. Well, let them keep doing it. Just, and just mirror. Just, just be a mirror. You don't have to do anything. Hi there, group number three. Sorry about that. The, well, I mean, let's factor it into the reading, right? The um, camera ran out of energy. The battery went flat. So who do you need to be for the next chapter? Let's have a think about that. So the camera, do you know, it, yeah, there's some situation, you have to stop giving your energy to it. Wow, that is good. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a little bit involved in your group number three this time, I do think. I'm a bit involved in all of them, let's face it, but I mean, I'm a, yeah, I'm relating to you guys at the moment. Uh, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Henry Ford, yes. And I, I think this is really important, this um, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. It's true. Um, but the fact of the matter is, you know, there is such a thing in life as um, people who aren't who aren't right for you. There, there is such a thing as that, and this is that Ramdas thing of he says, you know. Um, believe in Allah but tie your camel right I, yeah this is a bit of a tie your camel message this is a bit of a um, tie your camel you know um, you do have to bear this in mind what Henry Ford is saying here I, I, I like this kind of thing very much but it's I think this this quote is needed for later Okay, but in the immediate, in the immediate of this chapter, right? And I don't know how long this ch next chapter is going to be. So who do you need to be for the next chapter? How long is this chapter going to be? I don't know that. But what I do know is who you need to be is you need to be uh, not putting energy into the situation. And in the meantime, just mirror, just mirrors, mirror, mirror back. Just, okay, mirror. And... um. If somebody wants to keep self-sabotaging themselves in your space, well, all right, that's their decision. That's what they're going to do. You shouldn't take it personally. Uh, don't retaliate back or do anything back to them or just give it no energy. And as tempting as it is to, you know, use humor, but don't use humor because, yes, what if that is an attack? It could be perceived that way. Very difficult, group number three. It's like you're in a situation where you kind of can't do much. But the one thing that you can do, and it's going to sound a bit weird, but it's like it's sort of um, disappear a little bit. It's just not be so accessible or available or something along those lines. That is the vibe that I'm getting. Um... I was, I'm sort of thinking, do I take another card here? It's, it is kind of tempting. How about we take another quote? Let's just take one more quote and see. Maybe there's some more wisdom in here. Because I feel like if we get another card, it's, it's just going it, it, to it's gonna give us some variant of, of the message that we've just had. But I, feel, I sort of want more wisdom here. And we've got time. And I've got my hot chocolate there. So... <laughs> Let's keep the relaxation going. Do you know, this is where I relax too, by doing these picket cards. But then sometimes I run out of energy as well. What's well, funny, you're, you're reading, the camera ran out of energy. How funny. Oh, yeah, I love this. This is a great quote. If you love life, don't waste time, for time is what life is made up of. Absolutely, Bruce Lee. Good on you. Look at that. <laughs> If you love life don't waste time don't waste time don't waste time um don't give this situation any energy and uh, you do your own thing make a life that you love and just don't waste 
Don't waste time. Time is the most precious thing that we've got. People think it's money. But imagine you trade all your time for the thing that's second in value. You know, it's extraordinary. People trade like a whole life um, for money. And money, if, if you're to rank, okay, which one, which one is more valuable, time or money? Well, surely time is number one, right? So we trade the most valuable of our commodities for something that's lesser. Ooh, there's a bigger message here for group three in that. Yeah. This is something about valuing yourself as well. And are you trading your enormous value for something that isn't that great, really? You know, something like that. Group number three. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And... And I look forward to seeing you next time.